one. Hi, everybody. Welcome to another edition of The Blind Side of Cooking, okay? I know, I'm gonna be honest with you, these little snippets, I'm, I'm kind of starting out slow, so be patient with me. Um, I'm going with first the products that I know that I can use or that I have learned to use blind um, that's going to help me in cooking. But trust me, I am going to come to doing some recipes as well. We're getting really close to that, um, trying to think of ideas. And so we're gonna think of some of the bigger, we're doing the quick cooker and the air fryer and maybe even the blender, who knows. Um, but I was gonna try to tie in, you know how they have every day is national blah, blah, blah day, usually having to do with the food or something like that. Um, so I was like thinking, well, what's today? Okay, today is National Chocolate Cake Day. Yum, okay, yum O. -oh. So um, what I'm demoing today, you do not wanna put in a chocolate cake, so just FYI, um, something totally different, but I wanted to give you that little heads up. Today is National Chocolate Cake Day, so um, for those of you that like to bake, um, I'm gonna pull out my brownie pan here in just a minute, and I'll even see if I can get that done blind after we do the garlic, but, um, the brownie pan is a really fun way, different way that you can do some chocolate cakes and you can actually make them cherry chocolate cake and peppermint chocolate cake and you can change it all up. Fun, fun, fun. It's just a fun thing for your kids to do. And with Valentine's Day, going to be here before you know it. I mean, you go in the stores and you would think it's tomorrow. But anyway, so um, today I'm going to be showing you everything garlic. And we have some amazing, I call it my garlic arsenal, okay? Um, because I am, will always tell people, I used to, and I will still tell people on my virtuals and at my cooking shows, if you buy your garlic in a jar, already chopped up, throw it away, okay? yuck Oh, I know the reason why we do it is what? Convenience. We don't wanna be touching the garlic and it's convenient, but if you ever buy onions fresh or any type of produce fresh, you're gonna know that after an amount of time, if you don't use it, it goes bad, okay? And garlic is one of those. So somebody might say, well, I don't use a lot of garlic, so it's just easier to buy it in the jar and yada, yada, yada. Well, but it's got formaldehyde in it, y'all. So, you know, for people that are wanting to start the new year with a cleaner diet and pure diet, that's one thing you need to throw away, okay? Um, because garlic is super cheap. So even if you do buy too many bulbs of garlic, then it's okay, okay? You're out probably with the rise in prices of food, okay? Instead of being out 23 cents, you're out 33 cents, okay? It's it's no harm, no foul. That's not, not too bad. That's better than a filet mignon spoiling or something like that. So um, today is also, we found out, National Lobster Thermidor Day. Well, you will never not see me in a long time make that. I wouldn't even begin to know how to make that. But I'm kind of guessing you may put garlic in it. Anything with lobster kind of flavoring, you would do that. So um, we have three amazing tools that are great for garlic. And this is part of my garlic arsenal. The first one, and I know a lot of you guys are probably gonna say, got that, bought that at my first show 20 years ago. And this one isn't my original one, but it's, it's, it's up there in age and it is still good. And it is absolutely fabulous and super, super easy. What I love about our garlic press is it does go in the dishwasher. And you do not have to peel your garlic to press the garlic, okay? A lot of people think, oh, I gotta peel that garlic before I put it in the garlic press and then my fingers get all stinky, okay? You don't have to, all right? Um, so I've got my piece of garlic right here and I'm going to put it down inside the little hopper just like that. And then, now there is something I call a doohickey that comes with it. It's a cute little plastic little tool that cleans out the little holes and all that sort of stuff, but it's clearly lost in the back of some drawer somewhere. Who knows what happened to it? So I like to use my trusty quick cut paring knife to scrape the garlic off. And I actually like the way this works better. You can buy these in a set of three. These things are great little gems. Um, my sister loves these and she doesn't do a whole lot of cooking, but this is a plus in her kitchen. So I put that garlic in um, and I am going to just press. And it looks good. 
it came out. Do you see all that? Yeah. And then I'm going to just grab the edge and scrape down. Did I get it? Most of it, yeah, do it again. Closer to your fingers. There we go, yeah. I feel it. So pressed, oh, I can smell it, and I think it smells good. I love the I smell love of smell garlic. garlic. <laughs> so pressed garlic is going to be, did I get it all? Yep. Okay, pressed garlic is going to be a stronger um, garlicky flavor, okay? If you wanna have that kind of a, more of a, just a stronger garlicky flavor, um, pressed garlic is that, because once those juices are released, um, that's the stuff that gets on your fingers that you don't like the way it feels or smells. Um, that's going to give the stronger garlic flavor. Then to take that out, and I'm testing, and I take my little knife here and just reach in and grab the skin. And ta-da, that's it. Okay, that goes in the trash. And oops, stay there. And there we go, in the dishwasher. Super easy peasy. That's the garlic press. Awesome to have. Okay, now you will have pressed garlic. All right, so now you're saying, well, I want garlic, you know, in the little pieces, um, which the pressed garlic is gonna give you that, but sometimes you buy the whole already peeled garlic um, in the jar, okay? Next part of our arsenal is, it looks like a little plastic rubber cannelloni. This is our garlic peeler. You guys, this thing is awesome. It's magic, it's magical. Normally, if my garlic pieces, um, and these are cloves, okay, funny story, these are cloves. When they're all connected together, that's called a bulb. Um, actually had a gal come to one of our team trainings years and years ago, don't even remember her name, and she brought, everybody brings a recipe, and she walked into the house, and it was like, woo, whatever she fixed, she had garlic in it, and initially it was like, okay, that smells good, that's great. Um, and she kept saying, I'm learning to cook. I don't know how to cook, blah, blah, blah. Um, you guys, the recipe called for two cloves of garlic. Do you know what she did? She put two bulbs of garlic in the recipe. So needless to say, it was pretty strong. And uh, we laughed. We didn't laugh at her when it happened. But um, these are cloves, okay? The whole thing together is called a bulb. So typically when you have the bigger cloves, this is kind of at the bottom, at the inside of my uh, bulb. So there's lots of little ones. So I'm gonna just kind of, um, actually, we're gonna scooch over just a little bit. I'm gonna put all of these in here, just like so, okay? Super, super easy. And all you do is, roll and press, okay? Look at that, ta-da! Okay, is that peeled? Yes, it is. Oh my gosh, look! Maybe sometimes the little skinny stuff, thin stuff doesn't come off, but I'm feeling with my hands, these are all, look, that's not all the way peeled. That's got a little bit on there. Peeled now, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, um, that's another little piece that broke off. Have I got them all? Yep. Okay, that's the garlic peeler. Is that cool? Yeah. All right, all of a sudden now you have garlic, just like in the jar, it's fresh. It's a lot fresher. Okay, now I'm going to use my garlic slicer. Okay, looks like a pencil sharpener on the bottom. Okay, it's three pieces and I'll show you how easy it is to take apart. This goes in the dishwasher. You guys, the garlic peeler goes in the dishwasher and the garlic press, all of them. So if it's a dishwasher safe thing, it's a good thing, it's a beautiful thing. So you will see that it has two little slots down here. You can fill it with um, garlic a lot, okay? The bigger pieces of garlic that you have, but we're using some of these smaller ones and we're gonna do on either side just like that, okay? And then I'm just going to line up, okay? Watch this super uber thin. Now this is going to be sweeter garlic. So if you put this in a recipe, slice really thin or even a little thicker, you're going to have a sweeter garlicky taste. So you ready? Mm -hmm. And tell me if it's coming out. Yep, it's coming out. Look how great that looks. Is that cool or what? Okay, all the way to the end. Is more still coming out? Yep, it's still coming out. Okay. Okay, I think you got it all. Got it all. Yep. Okay. You might need to take your knife and just I know, and the knife is down in there. Yep. But anyway, you would take the knife and scrape 
um, the bottom, I call that the pencil sharpener side, okay? And so three easy pieces. You can also do shaved chocolate in here. You wanna wash it before you do the shaved chocolate, clearly. Um, you can do shaved Parmesan cheese. So if it's always better to buy the block of Parmesan cheese. Cut a piece of it off, and then you can have the nice shaved pieces um, for your salad, for pastas, all that sort of stuff. So three easy pieces. One right here, okay? And two, three. Is that easy or what? Okay, put them back together, click, just goes in there, and super, super easy, done. Garlic slicer, okay? You wanna get the garlic peeler and slicer together. They're the best team. All three of them, I call it my garlic arsenal. You are good to go for garlic. And really, my hands, I mean, they're fine, they're fine. And you know how to get the smell off your fingers? Here's a quick tip, this is for free, no extra charge. If you have a stainless steel sink, warm water and rub your fingers around that stainless steel sink, the garlic smell will disappear every single time. It will take away fish smell, onion smell, and garlic smell. If you don't have a stainless steel sink, then just the backside of a stainless steel knife. Oh, you know, I said the backside, get it? You don't wanna use the sharp side, but the backside. Um, run it under hot water and rub your fingers back and forth and the smell totally disappears. So that's another fun tip for the day. But you guys are ready for garlic. Oh, I was gonna see if I could grab out of here really quick my brownie pan. I did, here it is, for National Chocolate Cake Day. Is this it? Mm-hmm. Yay! Okay, fun, fun, the brownie pan. It's number 1544, I still remember it. Um, you can do mini meatloafs in here, all kinds of fun stuff. So that's just the freebie for National Chocolate Cake Day. Okay, so we are ready for garlic and we're ready for National Chocolate Cake Day, two separate things. But in the meantime, you guys have an awesome Thursday.